Hey everyone, welcome back. It's great to see you all here again. Today I'm breaking down the mystery behind fuel suction control valves, a topic that often confuses many car owners and enthusiasts alike. Now, if you're a car enthusiast like me, understanding how every component works can be super satisfying. It's like piecing together a complex puzzle where every part has its unique role. So let's dive right into it and unravel the workings of this essential component. First things first, what is a fuel suction control valve? You might have heard of it, but not really understood its importance. Simply put, it's a crucial part of your car's fuel system. Without it, your engine wouldn't get the precise amount of fuel it needs to run efficiently. It regulates the amount of fuel being sent to the fuel injectors. Pretty important, right? This regulation ensures that your engine performs optimally under various driving conditions. So how does it work? Let's break it down step by step. Imagine your car's engine as a hungry beast that needs a constant supply of fuel to keep running. The fuel suction control valve is like the gatekeeper deciding how much fuel to feed in at any given time. It ensures that the engine gets just the right amount of fuel, no more, no less. It does this by opening and closing, allowing just the right amount of fuel to pass through based on the engine's demand. This precise control is what keeps your engine running smoothly. Now the valve is controlled by the car's ECU, or engine control unit. This is the brain of your car that manages various functions to ensure everything runs efficiently. This little computer brain sends signals to the valve, telling it when to open and close. It constantly monitors the engine's needs and adjusts the fuel flow accordingly. It's all about precision. The ECU takes into account various factors like the engine's speed, load and even the temperature, ensuring optimal fuel efficiency and performance. But what happens when the fuel suction control valve goes bad? This is where things can get tricky. Well, you might notice symptoms like rough idling, poor acceleration, or even stalling. These are clear signs that something is wrong with the fuel delivery system. It's essentially your car's way of crying out for help. Ignoring these symptoms can lead to more severe issues down the line. A faulty valve can mess up the fuel-air mixture, leading to all sorts of performance issues. You might even see black smoke coming from the exhaust, indicating incomplete combustion. So, how do you keep it in check? Regular maintenance is key. Keeping an eye on your car's performance and addressing issues early can save you a lot of trouble. Make sure to follow your car's service schedule. And if you suspect any issues, get it checked out by a professional. Regular checkups can help catch problems before they become serious. Sometimes a simple cleaning can do wonders, but in other cases, you might need a replacement. All right, let's recap everything we've covered. The fuel suction control valve is essential for regulating fuel flow to your engine. Without it, your engine wouldn't run as efficiently or smoothly. It's controlled by the ECU, and when it malfunctions, your car's performance can take a hit. This can lead to a range of issues that affect your driving experience. Regular maintenance can help keep it functioning smoothly. By staying on top of your car's maintenance schedule, you can ensure that all components, including the fuel suction control valve, are in good working order. And there you have it, folks. A comprehensive look at the fuel suction control valve and its importance in the car's fuel system. A simple guide to understanding fuel suction control valves. I hope this video has demystified this crucial component for you. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more car tips and tricks. Your support helps us create more content like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care and happy driving.